Oh yeah, it's all coming together now. Hey there, I'm Ethos from the Samurai Zero Dev Team, and welcome to our latest Samurai Zero Devlog. Today, I'm proud to showcase our newest mechanic, the Air Dive. Now, this was a tough one, but we are really proud of the results. This mechanic is a great example of collaboration from design, to programming, animation, and special effects. The Air Dive is a style attack that all samurai will be able to do while they're in midair. Considered a high risk, high reward attack, you can target an area in a radius around you and dive directly to that location, dealing AoE damage to any enemy's hit. To balance this attack, there are some rules we have set. For example, you need to reach a certain height in the air to get the biggest AoE. The ability must charge for a second before being able to dive. You can only air dive once while in midair. And the air dive is dynamic, meaning it deals two different damage models depending on how high you were in the air compared to the impacted area. For best results, try directly ramming into an enemy while high up in the air. Enemies hit by this attack are also knocked back a little bit. This is still pretty early on in development, and while the mechanic is pretty much done, we still need to balance and adjust the damage models. Last month, we introduced the core combat mechanics of Samurai Zero, and this month we have expanded on them and added a little bit of polish. Last month was really rough, like, good lord, this right here is terrible. But today, I'm really happy to say that it's really coming together now. Combat feel is crucial for games, so this past month we went all out. To start, we have brand new VFX added to the game's combat. Sword trails, impact particle effects, and placeholder sounds are now all in the game, enhancing the feedback loop you get when hitting someone. We also added some special sauce in the form of screen shake and the hidden ingredient many fighting games have, Hit Stop, to really drive the combat further. For those of you who are curious, Hit Stop is basically when a game freezes the characters at a point of collision during an attack. Now I know this does sound a little bit crazy, but it's one of those things you feel when it's missing, but you don't even notice when it's actually there. This helps sell the collision's impact, and helps both players' eyes register and confirm the attack landed. Just look at the before and after, and I'm pretty sure you'll agree it speaks volumes. Speaking of visualization of combat, we also did another polish pass of our deflection system. Now with deflected animations for the defender, placeholder sounds, and some dope special effects, even deflecting really pops now. Yeah, I could do this all day. We've also finished setting up the foundation of our broken system for our game. We teased in the last devlog that when a player's resolve hit zero, they became what was called as broken. Now, as you can see, it is visualized causing the broken character to take a knee for a couple of seconds. Being broken is a heavy consequence, so we're working on a final part of this mechanic where players will actually be able to execute any enemy who's broken with a dope execution animation. Basically, we're gonna let y'all get a little toxic and dunk on enemies. Nothing's wrong with a little bit of disrespect. Expect in a near future update what this will look like fully played out. We would love to hear you guys sound off in the comments section and give us some suggestions as to what type of execution move you would like to see Ryder do. Let us know in the comment section below. Now onto some really nice quality of life changes. The combat system now has a switch input, allowing you to switch combat styles effortlessly between light to heavy attacks. You may find it very similar to that which was found in Jedi Academy. And once we get our brand new updated heavy attack animations, right. we'll plug them into our combat engine and start to see it all string together. You may have also noticed we did some animation improvements to Ryder and have overhauled our double jump movement system. Previously, we felt it was too basic and a little bit restrictive. Now, Ryder's movement has more personality, hitting on a theme of a acrobatic fighter. He loves to flip, and now with brand new directional animations, you can flip to your heart's content. I can say without a doubt, we are starting to see the fun explode out of all of our mechanics now in full unison. And that's some of the things that we worked on last month. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this devlog. I'm sorry that there was a little bit of a delay, but as you can see, we were working on a lot of really cool things. Now I have to give a special shout out to everyone who's been supporting us yeah. on Patreon. All of this that you see now wouldn't have been possible without them, including these devlogs. If you would like to support the development of Samurai Zero and see even more additional content that we've not yet shown to the public that we did last month, consider backing us and joining our Discord. That's all for this update, but here's a little peek at what's happening over on Patreon. I have been around a long time, and I have seen much. But, I have never seen anything like you. How many would this be, right? One step forward. Two 
few steps back. Why keep what you've learned about the city of glass? You tell me as soon as I catch up to you. <laughs> <laughs>